Hey, my friends, it's Mr. Daniel once again, coming to you from a place you know well, through the roof. I'm so glad you've joined us for this week. We have an incredible lesson that Miss Laura is going to present to us, and it's going to be crazy. It's got jails, it's got earthquakes, and it's got people singing in the middle of all of that. Paul and Silas, hold on to your hats because it's going to be a great story. Let me start us today with a prayer. And then I'll turn it to Miss Laura. Heavenly Father, our Through the Roof friends, we all come together right now to tell you that we love you and we are excited to learn what your word has to say to us today. We pray for our safety, our health, for our friends, for our family. We ask for your protection on us and you ask you help us learn something really exciting and new from your word today. It's in Jesus' name that we pray, amen. All right, Miss Laura, take it away. Miss Laura here, and I'm here to um, tell our Bible story today about Paul and another one of his friends, Silas. Did you, that name sounds familiar, Silas. We have a friend in Through the Roof named Silas, and he's a pretty cool guy. This is a different Silas. He was one of Paul's friends in the Bible. We learned about Barnabas last week. That was one of Paul's friends. And today we're going to learn about something that happened to Paul and his friend Silas. Um, so I hope you enjoy this story. I have some pictures to show you to help us, me tell this story. Paul and Silas were sent to jail. They had done nothing wrong, but they didn't complain. At midnight, they sang and prayed to God. The other prisoners were listening. How cool that they prayed and sang. I have some special guests now that are going to sing a song with us to show us how the Paul and Silas might have sung and prayed to God while they were in jail. Hey everyone, I said I had some special guests that would help us um, show how Paul and Silas might have sang um, when they were in prison. So we picked one of our favorite songs at home and we're going to sing it for you real quick. We had some instruments. Um, Jonah and Elizabeth have picked drums today and Mr. Nathan's back with us to help us sing again with his guitar and I picked a tambourine. So I hope you enjoy our song and then maybe you can go pick a song to sing praise to God um, whenever you want. Enjoy our song and then we'll get back right back to our story. Go ahead. You ready? Suddenly, the earth began to shake. The prison door shook open. The chains on the prisoners came loose. The jailer had been asleep. Now he woke up. He thought his prisoners had escaped. Paul called out to him, We are all here. The jailer took Paul and Silas to his house. He washed their wounds. He gave them something to eat. Paul and Silas told the jailer and his family about Jesus. They were baptized that night. The jailer was happy because his whole family believed in God. Isn't that a great story about Paul and Silas? Even though things seemed really scary and tough, they were in prison. I would be really scared if I went to prison. And they even, there was an earthquake. I don't know if you've ever been in an earthquake. I haven't. But we've been in things like hurricanes, and hurricanes are scary. Or right now, there's a virus going around, and we might not be able to see it, but it's kind of scary too. But Paul and Silas, even it, then when it was scary, they praised God, and God did something miraculous. And he freed them from prison, and then he got, gave them the opportunity to tell someone about Jesus. He got, gave them the opportunity to tell the jailer. And they, his whole family believed in God. What a great opportunity that they had, even though when it was scary. 
So I think it's important to remember that even when things are scary, that we still praise God and we tell people about Jesus. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Hey everyone, I'm here to do our verse this week. Um, we heard this verse actually last week with Miss Amy and we're gonna review it again today. Um, but I'm gonna show you a little bit different way um, that you could learn your verse. And I think you're really gonna like it. You're gonna use something that you probably already have at home or maybe something similar and something you might even like to play with a lot, but now you can use it to learn your verse too. But first, let me show you our verse and we'll say it a couple times um, and then I'll show you how you could learn it. So our verse today is Mark 16, 15, and it says, Go and tell the good news about Jesus. Say it one more time. Go and tell the good news about Jesus. Mark 16, 15. Okay, so what I found is I found blocks like this in my house. My son really likes to play with these Duplo blocks, but I thought I could use them to help me learn my verse today. So what I did is I wrote all the words on a little piece of paper and then I taped it on my block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a tower for my verse. Um, you could make a house or a castle with your words and verses and I'm just gonna put them in order so I learn the verse. So I have go and tell the Good, uh oh, good news about Jesus. Mark 16, 15. So see there I have a tower for my whole verse. Go and tell the good news about Jesus. Mark 16, 15. And then I can take it apart and do it again. I hope you enjoyed the activity and you'll have fun with it at home. See you later. Bye. Hi, friends. Today, I have some review questions for us. And look, I also have the chains just like the ones Paul and Silas had while they were in jail. And we are going to break them off just like Jesus broke off theirs. So our first review question says, who was in jail? Do you know? Do you know who was in jail? Let's find out. Paul and Silas were in jail. Good job. Let's see our next question. Had Paul and Silas done anything wrong? Do you remember? Had they done anything wrong? Let's find out. No, they had not done anything wrong and they still went to jail. It was God's plan. Let's see. Was it day or night when Paul and Silas sang to God? Do you remember? Was it day or night? Was it dark or was it, was there light outside? It, there was, it was night. Good job, it was really, really dark outside. Next question says, what began to shake? Do you remember? Well, this is a tricky one, there is a lot of questions. To, there's a lot of answers to this one, but the right answer was the earth began to shake. But because the earth shook, the jail also shook, and their chains were broken. Let's see what happened six. Who woke up when the earthquake happened? Who do you think woke up? Do you remember what Ms. Laura taught us? The jailer woke up. That's true. All right, last two questions. Who did Paul and Silas tell the jailer about? This one is an easy one. Who did they tell him about? Jesus. 
So were Paul and Silas missionaries because they were telling people about Jesus? Yeah, they were. Did the jailer and his family believe in Jesus? What do you think? Find out. Last one. Yes, they did believe in Jesus after Silas and Paul told them. Friends, well, that's all I have for your review questions. Hello, I also have our activity for today. And today's activity is gonna be, we are gonna color Paul and Silas, and then we're gonna put some bars on top of the picture to pretend like they were in jail, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is you can either print this out <clears throat> or you can make your own, you can draw Paul and Silas on your own. But um, on my printout, there's two, so I'm gonna cut it. There's a little line right here, and I'm going to cut it. Okay. That way I only do one. So next, we are going to color. Okay, once you're finished coloring, here's my coloring, we are gonna make hole punches. We're gonna make holes on these little circles. So I have a hole puncher and I'm just gonna go in here and make some holes. Next, this is a part where you can just find anything you have at home. And I have some pipe cleaners, but if you have some strings, you're gonna pass them through the holes right here. Get through the hole, and then you fold it back so that we can make, and you pass it through the hole on top. And then you fold it back here again. And that is one bar. So let's make the other ones. Pass it through here. We're gonna fold it back. Get the other end. Fold, put it in through the hole. Fold it back. Okay. Put it in here. Fold it back. And now, Paul and Silas are in jail.
This is our finished product. And that is all I have for today. Bye-bye, have a great day.